YG12, back on another video blog, 80608, YG12, YG12.com. Um, this is part two of domestic violence. I was explaining before about my ex-girlfriend um, who tried to kill me, who killed my dog, tried to burn my house down. Um, a lot of things. Uh, I now have a final restraining order keeping her away from me. She cannot come within, I believe it's 500 yards distance. I have it later. I'll show you guys on tape when I get off the toilet. Um, but being somebody that has been through domestic violence firsthand and is a victim of domestic violence, we never wish that upon any female. Um, funny, I lose my job, all this bad shit happens and everything, and then uh, I get a I get an email today from her, from the person that I have the restraining order against, the final restraining order against. Um, it's like she always comes around when times are bad and times are low, or when times are good, you know. She goes away for a few months and she pops her ugly fucking head back, and today she popped her ugly head back in again. Um... I'm going to ask her to leave me the fuck alone. Stay away from me, please. You know, even though you did all those bad things to me, I don't wish any bad to you. Okay, I don't. I just wish to be left alone. I, I, I don't want you in my life. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want anything to do with you. You never did anything positive for my life. So please stay away. Um, please stop trying to offer me sexual favors and money to drop the final restraining order because I'm not doing it ever not for everything you put me and my family through I don't wish anything bad on you I just wish that I have that final restraining order in my position forever so that you stay away from me at least legally even though the piece of paper doesn't really do much it's just it's there you know and you gotta call the cops every fucking time and you gotta deal with courts all over again and lawyers and everything and it's just not a cool fucking situation I like to avoid all that shit as much as possible. But being a victim of domestic violence, it's not cool. I would never wish it upon any female or any violence or any harm on any female or male, child, woman, insect, animal, hermaphrodite, whatever. Um, so, yeah. I woke up this morning to an email from somebody I shouldn't even be talking to. I didn't respond or I didn't even talk to her nothing, but one of those things every time you hear that voice every time you see that fucking name it haunts you like knowing that person tried to kill me you know now that's a real terrorist folks that person literally tried to kill me all right nine one one call tapes witnesses the whole nine final restraining orders against her she killed my dog she's not put on a terrorist watch group and she's an emt in new jersey unfucking believable yeah in union county um but now, wouldn't you want somebody like that saving your life? Somebody that tried to kill somebody and somebody that killed a dog? But yet, I'm labeled a fucking terrorist for making a drunk, stupid fucking video? Come on, people, man. Please. Please, people. Where's the just in this world, man? Huh? Where's the just? Where's the justice? It's just us. It's all we got in this world, man. YG12, I think I'm out of this one. I think I'm going to jump in that shower finally. I feel dirty from combing through newspapers and fucking clicking on keyboards all day. There's nothing fucking out there, folks. Domestic violence, it sucks. It's not a cool fucking thing. I've been a victim of it for five years. It's not cool. So on that note, be good to the people around you. Alright? IG12, IG12.com. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.